Hi, in this video, I'll show how to use application for converting a table from Word document into SQL script. So you can see on my screen, I have a, a state doc. If I open it, I don't have a word installed on this computer, but I have a word part. And in word part, you can see I have a table on this um, in this document and um, it contains uh, state name state code region subregion and i want to convert all this table into sql script so i will uh, be able to run it on the sql server and add all the information from this table into database in order to do this i will install app from my website this is my website to find app i click on search and type word table Convert for table to SQL. I can scroll down to SQL, click on download, and wait until archive will be downloaded on my computer. I will leave link on, on this website in into the description to this video below. And I will be recording more videos on converting data from Word um, tables. So if you're interested, please consider subscribing to my channel. Okay, archive has been downloaded to my computer. I will click to open it. Double click on MSI and start archive to start installation. Click on more info here. I am getting the screen from Windows because I'm not registered publisher for, with Microsoft. You can see publisher unknown. I'll just run it. Click on run anyway to start installation. Click on next, next install. Click on yes and click finish on final screen. And you can see application has been installed on my computer. I have a new shortcut on my desktop. Now I can close this and this and double click on shortcut to launch app. Now conversion is three steps process. In step one, I have to select word input word file. I'll click on this button, navigate to my states uh, doc, click on open, click on next. Here I have uh, to specify, I, I can specify on step two, I can specify uh, conversion options. First conversion options, if first row of input has column names, Usually tables with first row always has a header and it's containing column names. And these column names will be used as fields for the table, uh, for the SQL table. So all data will be placed into specific fields with correct name, which is good. And we should keep this checked. If I want to add field, I will select this. Usually it's a good idea to add ID field uh, because it's useful for SQL to uh, be able to uh, distinguish each record by ID. So it's nice to have. And I will select Microsoft SQL Server as a database. I can also select my SQL or a SQLite. I will be converting it for SQL Server. Click on Next Step. And on Final Step, I can preview my SQL. So you can see it creates table with uh, good names and put data, all insert data into, into this table. Looking good, I click save and save uh, this as SQL. Um, it's asking me for name and location of the file, documents and name of file is okay, I click save. Same file has been saved and just let's go and open this file into notepad just to show you what, what is inside. So basically we got all, um, table from Word converted with, um, let me open it again, with um, state name, state code, region, subregion, and uh, with all data from Alabama to Wyoming in this. Yeah, basically that's it. Uh, if you have a multiple tables into Word, it will create uh, multiple tables into SQL with all data accordingly and so on. Or you can select multiple files, uh, multiple word files and it creates all uh, SQL uh, one SQL with all all data in it. So I can send the SQL to my DBA or can run it on SQL Server, and it will create all data with with uh, from Word to to SQL Server. So basically that's it. If you have any questions, please leave them in comments below. Thank you.